What's up guys and welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we're shooting part two of our tank tour series here with Matt and we're going to show you how to make his homemade gel food. So stay tuned to find out more. What's up Fanatics family? Welcome back. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can keep up to date with our future uploads. As I said, today we're going to be making Matt's homemade gel food recipe. Hey so without further ado, let's get into the video. So first up we're going to ask Matt what he puts in his gel food and he's going to show us what he puts in it and why. So as I said in the last video, I prefer to feed gel feed as my primary food source for my fancy goldfish um, and therefore I go through exactly what I put in that. So here we go. So first ingredient is iceberg lettuce and here we have one whole iceberg lettuce and that whole thing's going to go in this mix. Now we have yesterday's broccoli, leftover from yesterday, perfect for the goldfish and courgette, one courgette. And now we have... <laughs> Two red peppers, good for coloration, brilliant from taste. Goldfish love them. And we have spinach, high protein, highly digestible, key ingredient in my gel food. Next, essential for taste, garlic. I put about two or three cloves in mine. It smells brilliant when you're cooking it and the goldfish love it. And we have petit pois. If you haven't got petit pois, have peas. It's just as good, but we'll get fancy with our fancies. <laughs> Uh, and one other component we have, fish food. I've got two different types here, put a little bit of both in, we've got some vitalis and some aquaco goldfish Japanese pellets. Also, what about this? Oh yeah, so here we have two different types of gelatin. We've got the vegan kind, this one's agar agar powder, or gelatin beef powder. So that's all the veg that Matt uses as his main components, so we're gonna see how he prepares that for his gel food so it's easily digestible and palatable for his ranchu. So now everything's chopped, let's get cooking. Um, yeah, so now we're all boiled, let's get the water on. You don't want to put too much water on because it just means in the future you're going to have more water to set with the gelatin. So I'll put in minimum I can to start with. As you can see, all the veg is chopped. So start with all the other stuff that's going to take a little bit longer to cook, like the broccoli and the pepper. Find out where it is in your mix. It doesn't matter too much because at the end, let's just chuck it all in, shall we? We're going to be blending this. So yeah, as I said, we've got iceberg lettuce, courgette, peas, we've got broccoli, we've got garlic, and we've got spinach in here at the moment. All very cheap ingredients, all very healthy for your fish, very nutritious. There we go. Chuck all of that in there. This is going to take a little bit of time to boil down now, so we're probably going to put a lid on it. And let it simmer but basically the key components of this are a highly digestible food that's high in protein it's healthy and of course cheap for you to make so i think all of the veg for this cost me about three pounds um but as you can see how much food we're going to produce it's an incredibly efficient way of producing high quality highly nutritious food for your goldfish one eternity later so it's been about 20 minutes now everything's nicely reduced as you can see um, water contents about right, so I'm going to add some pellet in, a bit of the Japan gold, on the packet, just a sprinkling, doesn't need to be tons, and I'll probably add a bit of this Vitalis as well, just for good measure. That's it. We'll do this at the end because it stinks, so it's the last thing you want to add, and it'll also break down quite a lot as well if you boil it. So I mix that in. And it's already started to hit the back of my throat a bit. Oh. Uh, turn the heater for that. And then we're going to blend it. 
As you can see now, it's nicely blended. We've got a good uniform consistency. It's not too wet. Um, and now we'll put it back on the heat, on a very low heat. And now I'm gonna try my new gelatin power, bovine beef 250 bloom. We're gonna see how much we need of this to set it. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over it. It's like a fine gravy granule sort of size. And I'm just gonna mix it in. Now the issue is we don't know how well it's set until it's actually cold. So I'm gonna probably try and put a little bit more in than I need than under, because if it if it doesn't set, it's basically still a, a gooey liquid and that's useless to us. And what this gelatin does is it binds all the ingredients together so that when it's in the pond, it's a lot more stable and doesn't just dirty up the water and cloud it. And that way the fish can eat it before it breaks down. So I might do a bit more. I don't know. Something you guys are gonna to have to work out yourselves, unfortunately. You can buy your gelatin anywhere online. I get mine from eBay. About four quid a bag for 100 grams. But considering how much it makes, it's not a bad price really. Um, and it's good quality food grade as well. So now that's mixed in, what I'm gonna do is put it into a shallow tray and let it set. I'm gonna do that in this tray, some nice depth. Um, spread it evenly and hopefully that sets quite quickly and once it cools we can put it into the freezer. So, wow, we've made quite a bit today, that's good, this is going to last a while. If Chris is lucky he'll get some to take home and he can feed it to his goldfish and we'll see how well it does. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's all that done. So yeah, just spread it nice and evenly. Because once it's set, we can then cut it with a knife into cubes or whatever sort of size you want. Um, depending on how much fish, fish you're going to be feeding at a time, you can cut it into the exact servings that you want. So there, that's done. Nice and easy. So uh, this is some I made last week. Um, and it's just in the freezer and Ziploc bags to keep it fresh. And yeah, when I want it, take that out, put it on a plate in the fridge and a defrost and we can use it whenever, it lasts indefinitely really. Really easy, healthy, nutritious way of feeding a fish. So yeah, recommend that. So I'd like to thank Matt for showing us how he makes his recipe for his gel food. That's it for today's video. We're actually gonna be coming back to Matt's in about two or three months to check for a little update on the pond, see if he's put some mass on his ranchu. And we're also gonna be checking out Matt's secret special project he's got going on, which is really exciting. So if you wanna see that and you're looking forward to that, make sure you subscribe. We're also gonna be looking at how Matt makes his backy shower and how he custom made that next time. So as I said, make sure you subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping.